Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men, how to master your jealousy patterns before it destroys your relationship. The topic for this video is why or how control and demands kill your relationship, kill your couple. If your girlfriend or wife feels like you're holding her really tight, you know, it's like, uh, I cannot breathe, you know, the, these are controlling patterns. Um, I'm going to give you a metaphor. If you have a dog, right, and you have a property, and then um, you have a fence, right? This is, this is the preserving power. This is the kind of power that you can express. You can create a certain fence which is wide enough to allow lots of freedom within that space, and then you can have that fence and on top of that keep the dog on a leash, right? And you don't allow the dog to run free within that property. So how is the dog going to feel within that space? You know, if you release the leash and you let the dog run free, but within these patterns, which are like this wide space controlled by external fences, you know, that protect really the space, that's probably going to work in creating a dog which is going to be happier. I'm not comparing women to dogs here, <laughs> don't worry, but it's a little bit of a metaphor to understand how you can use your power. Controlling energy or preserving energy, you know, you are creating something that allows you to preserve a certain space and create safety. So if we transfer that idea to relationships, the same can happen, you know. Um, in the space of your relationship, you want to encourage space and freedom. If somebody comes to you, your girlfriend or your wife comes to you with controlling patterns and demands, and she gives you a whole lot of conditions about how you're supposed to behave when you're in social situations, when you're interacting with other people. How is this going to make you feel? Of course, you are going to feel locked and contracted. And the thing is that that's not going to work on the long term. What you want to have in a relationship, in your couple, is two people really caring for each other to people caring for the well-being, for the freedom, for the happiness expression of who, you, who they are. It's not just about creating safety for yourself and you go like, this is what I need to feel safe in this relationship. I don't want you to, to talk to your ex. I don't want you to go out to the gym. I don't want you to put makeup when you go to work. You know, it's like, uh, just give her some space, man. Give her some space, otherwise she's going to break up, break up. And even if she doesn't break up, she's going to be in this relationship in a place of feeling contracted and constricted and unhappy. She's going to be complaining about you to, your, to her girlfriends and uh, basically feel like, you know, not too happy. So the controlling patterns, a little bit of control, a little bit of demand, a little bit of pressure is fine. But most, in so many couples, it's completely overdone. It's completely overdone. If once a week, you know, you have what we call a shadow check, right? You are having this conversation with your girlfriend. You say, okay, shadow check. Um, shadow check means you are going to, to check the places where there might have been some discomfort or some challenge coming in. So you might say, well, you know, four days ago, we were there, you know, on this date, and then your ex called, and then you spend like half an hour on the phone with him. Um, yeah, that made me feel a little bit uncomfortable and um, I don't know what to do about it. What do you think? Okay, that's a very simple example. It's not a controlling pattern. You're not demanding something from, from her. You're just saying, well, here's how this made me feel. What do you think, what do you feel we can do about it? It's inviting her into the creation instead of being like, and she might say, well, you know, just if you feel uncomfortable with it, just deal with it. You go like, okay. Well, if she does that, then you can go, I'm going to give you some mirroring techniques in another video. But for now, just understand that if you come with control and you say to her, I don't want you to ever contact your ex again. You know, this comes from a place of power, right? You're not disempowered by saying that. It's too much. It's too restrictive. For a woman in a relationship to have interactions with other human beings, including male, is offering a certain space of expression that is healthy for the relationship. 
Okay, you might disagree with me about that. Your couple might disagree with that, and it's fine, it's okay. But I want to simply help you see that there is a certain degree of control or a certain space that you can open up in your relationship to make it easy to sustain on the long term. Ideally, what you want is the woman that is in your life to come to you not because she's forced to, not because she feels threatened by you, emotionally threatened by your energetic or emotional response. She, you don't want her to come into your field because of that. You want her to come into your field because she's magnetically attracted through heart-to-heart -heart connection, through desire, through passion, because she knows that you are number one. And so to do that, you want to create trust, you want to create safety, you want to create empowering patterns, and controlling and demands, especially when they're over, overdone, are going to create the exact opposite. You get that, right? I'll see you soon for another video.